All right, so I need to talk something which has kind of occurred to me here a while lately, and I, I needed time to sit there and think about that before I actually went on to say this. But I made my decision, and I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, mostly this is to address the, the boycott that has grown en masse across this country against BP. And which, you know, I can understand where this is coming from. You know, I understand being angry and being pissed off. Uh, I, I can't really hold the government in this unless, I can, unless you, you would believe that it was a false flag thing that happened. But also, uh, the anger against BP and the executives, you know, I can understand that completely. And apparently it seems that the only way that people's voices believe they can be heard is to go and boycott this. But what I wonder is, you know, is the boycott really worth it? Because everybody's just jumped on board with it, but you sit there and watch it a little bit, no one's really stopped to consider the, the ramifications of what's going on with this, especially since we have a boycott so large right here. Uh, the whole thing with the crude crisis, you know, everybody being upset, uh... Like other people, I will believe something is being done when I actually see that something is being done out there, but that's not the point here. The point I'm trying to make with this right now is I think that in some ways, people just jumping on and doing the boycott right now is shit for two reasons. One, uh, everybody is thinking this will hurt BP. And as much as I hate to sound like a pessimist here saying this, it doesn't hurt them one fucking bit. They're sitting on billions of dollars. You know, they have no problem right here. So what a few people aren't going to buy gas from us? Uh, you know, yeah, it might put a dent in them a little bit. But the fact is, uh, they don't just make money by selling gas at small gas stations around the corner from you. They do sell to other companies who buy that gas and put it in the gas stations where you go to while you're boycotting BP and where you buy it from. Because I promise you folks, it is all the same gas. Uh, the second thing is that nobody has taken into account what kind of effect that's going to have on the gas station owners. Well, you would say, well, they're working for BP. Well, that's not necessarily true. In some instances, you have these independently owned uh, stores, these little mom and pop chains, which actually... Uh, would carry the BP logo on there or buy their gas from them. and since everybody has seen that green and yellow logo sitting up there it's like oh that's bad we're gonna stay away from it and that's just apparently what everybody's done largely thanks to the Facebook group which I've seen on there and I'm actually not gonna join that because I think the whole idea of the boycott is stupid along the lines which I'm speaking uh, the second thing or uh, the other thing I was talking about when they've done that is also the huge uh, the huge petition to, for the boycott on uh, Ralph Nader's website now while I'm going on about the gas too you know well how can you say it's different well sit there and think about this folks uh, now I actually haven't done my research no I, I know that BP sells to other companies I think they do uh, like Let's just say, for example, that they would go and sell to Texaco or to uh, Shell. Now, I don't know if it's actually done like that, but let's just assume that for a minute. These guys will go and distribute out the same gas, which uh, all, all of it is made from oil that comes from the earth, and they go and dish it out. And here's also the difference with, with the gas, too. Let's say you have Joe Blow's gas station over here, which is not BP. Uh, you know, it could be a Chevron, and they have Techron in there, and we're going to put it in my car and make it run better. Uh, really, folks, the last time I checked, uh, that gas is really no different than what you're getting from BP if you still shop there. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, you don't really hear folks in the advertising say, well, yeah, it, it makes your car run better, but... Really, if you sit there and go talk to just about any mechanic with a brain in his head, uh, he's going to tell you that the gas in there is really no different than the other kind. Uh, well, quite honestly, like the the 87, the 89, and the 93 octanes are different and do ensure that your car run 
run longer a little bit, yeah, but that's that's about the extent of it. Uh, having additives in there don't really make a damn difference. Um, so, you know, just think about that. You go and try and put a dent in this big conglomeration, and you might have succeeded in doing that just a little bit, but think about the independent man who runs that gas station, and you might be putting out of business. Now, I, I know folks all got to go and make their own decisions, but I'm just saying. Uh, because we've already had quite a few businesses that have been put out, and I'm just saying that's something to think about.